On the Business Courier front page centerpiece this week, an ambitious plan for a downtown street corner in the heart of Cincinnati's central business district. A Texas-based developer is making a $100 million bet on downtown to convert 4th and Walnut Center into a mix of hotels, redesigned offices, retail, and restaurants. 4th and Walnut Center is a 375,000 square foot, three building complex. One is an historic 19 story building completed in 1904. The property is currently about 50% occupied with tenants including Duke Energy and everything but the house. The developer closed on the property January 8th for about $9 million and the plans for the building are not yet final. But there is talk of multiple hotels, office space, retail restaurants and even a grocery store. The renovation of 4th and Walnut Center would be among the biggest downtown projects in recent years with the potential to add hundreds of construction and permanent jobs and spur additional development in the city. Business Courier reporter Tom Demeropoulos reported the story and joins editor Rob Daumeyer in the studio with more on the project and the ambitious developer. Peg, Tom, thanks so much for being here. Um, this is a really interesting story, uh, not something frankly that I, I had expected to see. Um, Tell us a little bit about this uh, ambitious developer. Yeah, so the leader of this company that's going to redevelop this project is named Mahul Patel, and uh, he and his brother joined two other sets of brothers to form their company, which is called Newcrest Image. Uh, they're based out of the Dallas area of Texas, and uh, they specialize in hotels, and they, they do the entire process. So they go from site, you know, finding a site selection, all the way to building, constructing, redeveloping, and then they also operate hotels. How long have they been, I mean, have they done a lot of these, or is this uh... Yeah, so uh, uh, Mahul and his, his brothers have been doing this for a long time. Uh, for Mahul, this, he's, he's actually renovated and built more than 125 hotels. Wow. Um, as this company, this company is kind of new, that they formed in 2013, uh, and they currently have 20 properties in their portfolio and another nine projects under construction or development, so they're very active right now. But nothing uh, at this size, nothing that's a $100 million project. Um, and so maybe you can tell the viewers a little bit about Fourth and Walnut and what it looks like now and maybe what it could could look like if his plans go through. Sure, so right now, uh, Fourth and Walnut Center is a three building complex. It uh, was designed by Daniel Burnham, very famous architect. Uh, the, the main building is the 19 story tower, which is at one time was one of the tallest buildings in Cincinnati. Hmm. And uh, that's what he envisions where the hotel potentially multiple hotel brands will be located in that portion of the building. And his, his ideas aren't finalized at this point, but he's thinking uh, the two other buildings, there's a six-story office building and a four-story office building. Those could be a mix of retail, um, restaurant space, a fitness center potentially, maybe even parking. Um, and he wants, he's talked about bringing in a celebrity chef type restaurant on the ground floor. So wow. they've got some very, very ambitious plans for this property. So you're going to hear a little bit more in the show later um, about uh, somebody who, who, a general manager of another hotel, but there's been so many hotels either announced, planned, under construction, or are or, or open now. And as a matter of fact, uh, Caddy Corner to Fourth and Walnut, you've got the Renaissance. Mm -hmm. um, what are you hearing about the viability of more hotels, still more hotels for downtown? Yeah, well, Mahul and, and other experts are, have kind of looked at the Cincinnati market, and they still see demand increasing, and that's, that's the important part, especially urban, demand for urban hotels. People want to be in uh, the urban environment. They like what they see in terms of the renaissance happening in downtown Cincinnati. And for Mahul, he sees particular hotel offerings that aren't in the market right now, kind of that lifestyle brand, yeah. upscale. Um, upscale traveler and he thinks he can capture some of that market uh, with with what he's planning for that hotel final question why would somebody from the Dallas area even be looking at Cincinnati um, no offense I'm from here so I'm allowed to say this is not the most glamorous city in the world why 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 Cincinnati yeah this was outside of their normal uh, range of development they focused on the south and the southwest but uh, you know, they had heard about Cincinnati, they had heard about uh, our Fortune 500 companies, so they came and sort of started looking at the city. This wasn't actually the first building they wanted to buy. They had looked at three other properties That's right. before this one, and when the opportunity to buy this building, because it's much larger, uh, came up, they said, you know, we've, we've got some big ambitious plans uh, for Cincinnati, and this is the building to do it in. So uh, they had been looking in the market. They liked that GE is coming here. They liked uh, the streetcar. They liked all the other development that's taking place nearby. So they want to they want to jump in. Good. It's a great story, and uh, the the guy Mahul Patel is a very interesting guy. He's only 39 years old, and 
and he's done so much already. He started his first business just a couple years after uh, immigrating from uh, India. So thank you very much for being here. Thanks, Rob. And back to you. All right, thanks, Rob and Tom. And as Rob mentioned, speculation about more new hotels has some wondering if the downtown hotel market is oversaturated. That includes the general manager of the iconic Hilton Cincinnati Netherland Plaza. The downtown hospitality market uh, is becoming uh, quite crowded with hotels. Lots of new hotels have come in. Some of them are smaller and boutique hotels. Uh, but really the key to bringing in more visitors to the city is, is driving convention business. And uh, the larger conventions that are citywide or the medium-sized conventions that we can layer on top of each other to really fill the hotels is um, the key to making all of us successful. Coffee has deep Cincinnati roots. He says he started in the service industry to pay his University of Dayton college bills and soon discovered that a career in hospitality could be rewarding and challenging. Coffee's first hotel job was at what was then the Omni Netherland Plaza. 